Wow. Okay. Oh. Definitely care. Definitely love them. That's for sure. No doubt about it. Your first card is the lovers. You got a queen of cups and an empress. You're a giver. Now, if there's a giver, then there's a taker. So where where is the happy part there? Which only means that you've been trying to prove, to show love and care to your person. I admire you for that. You're this empress, someone who has so much energy or, you know, has... The empress is normally like well off, meaning they, they're doing good in life. So you're able to give love and care to your person. Now, what about when you need them, you know, to be on your side? To help you from your, uh, you know, sometimes you have some issues there, you know, that one. When you have problems in your life, do they come and rescue you? Meaning, sometimes some people need help or just a support, knowing that they're there. Hmm. Okay, Sag, let's see. Make sure to check out my previous reading. I just uploaded just a couple of hours ago. So this is your, uh, you know, another reading for you guys. I upload daily. I will be talking more about the eclipse that is coming on the 24th of March also. So stay tuned for that one. Let's see here. The lovers is someone, of course, this is your seventh house. This is Gemini. All right. Oh, let's see. No wonder. The eclipses are happening in the Kendra houses in the 1, 4, 7, 10, basically. So definitely this is going to affect your home situation. Mm -hmm. Your relationship will be affected by this since the eclipse happens in the Kendras or the dual sign. So the lovers is someone you, who needs to make action and choice with regards to the relationship. And I feel like you're asking them, it's like, okay, what's the next move here? What are we? What are we doing You know, here in this life? You have an empress and the queen of cups. You have no problem loving your person, totally. You're madly in love. You're mesmerized by them, and they, can act, they can't actually do no wrong. It can be a Taurus, a Libra, or a Gemini, and then there's a Cancerian. But lately, the situation has become more difficult. And you're seeing it by the day, because you have here now the Five of Wands. They're not cooperating, so it's less cooperative. It's shaking the relationship. And they're, they're, you know, like a lot of things are adding up, not just a relationship, you know, outside part of your life. Your career is affected by this, yes. Um, your, how you make money is affected. Your home life is uh, kind of confusing right now. You're trying to understand, say, well, do I like to be in this place or not? There's a move, there's a relocation that's about to manifest also. Three of Wands. So the Sag right now has a lot to think. A lot to think. You're being patient, though. Very, very patient and optimistic or we can call it also overly optimistic now nothing of course is sitting in sad right now which is good not in the first house so chances are health wise you're good which is amazing now you have your you know like your whole your whole courage before in this relationship has been affected right now in the next coming two weeks it might it will come back so for now there's a lot of fear Oh, no, I can't do this. Oh, no, you know, for now. Now, do understand that you probably want to secure, like, in your relationship, like, you know, you want the best. Okay? The best comfort, the best affection. Like, you just want peace. Okay? But I'm not sure if that's, you know, like, if your person is giving that to you. You're always wishing. And you're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting for things to become better. You feel like you're the only one who's contributing to this relationship. Yes. You feel like you're the only person who's really concerned about the future. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or a Scorpio. There's a fixed sign or a foreign person from you. And you just want to have a serious conversation with your person and wake them up. 
because for you, it's just like we can't live a life of lie. If it's going to go, it's going to go. If it's not, let's not continue this anymore. You want something concrete. You want something honest. You want something logical. Mm -hmm. It feels like with the Wheel of Fortune and Seven of Swords, your person has a way of spinning the truth or making you think that it's fine, but it's not. They have isolated themselves from you as well. They ghosted you. They said that, you know, well, I need some time to think. So, I feel like your person, oh, they do need this space, yes. They're trying to understand the situation. Some crystals just don't work with your sign. If you're tired that your crystals are not working the way that you would like to, well, I'm a crystal expert and I made specific double Piao crystal bracelet just for your sign. Get yours right now at eTreatLove.me. They're trying to understand a situation, like what I mentioned, yes. But for you, that doesn't resolve it. You know, you love each other. Why ghost me? Why avoid me all of a sudden? Right? So it becomes a runner and chaser. Now, you're not tired. I don't see that. You're not exhausted yet. But you're at a point here with the Ten of Swords. Who you're very much like, this is, you know, like havoc and crazy and infuriated right now. Mm -hmm. Now, do expect that this coming um, uh, eclipse on the 24th, I made, of course, you know, expect some big changes in your home life, your relationship, and your career, and also with yourself. I got you the red jade one, a stone of energy. And I forgot to mention in previous reading that it comes with citrine also, which is the go-to, my favorite. So all the zodiac gets the citrine, but then I specifically choose each one different, okay? So make sure you wear it when you get it. But this one, which I want you to have, to all my followers who's here, this is free when you get it, my precious. Obsidian and Citrine with a Piao. This one you wear before the eclipse. The eclipse is not something to be scared of if you are aware of what's going to happen. There's nothing to be scared. We're not ignorant. We know already, right? But it doesn't happen on the day off. Prior to it, it's already manifesting. Today, as you watch me, those changes are already manifesting. Oh, so it's not like, oh, 24th. Full moon, same thing. It's like, oh, full moon in five days. It doesn't manifest that day. Be five days prior, you know, you'd see people going crazy already, going mental. Yes. So when you prepare and you do your predictions, basically, the reason why, okay, oh, in the 24th, there's going to be that. You know, you got to start doing now the cleanse. You're going to start doing now the cleanse at your home. Not on the 24th. 24th is too late. So what are you doing right now to prepare? Okay, so make sure. Now this is available. Um, we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. This is free shipping in the US. And I advise that you start cleansing at the house. Okay, now if you don't know how to do a cleanse in the house and you don't want to smudge, meaning, you know, because sometimes the smoke, you know, you're living in an apartment or the house, you don't want to smell. Some people are sensitive. I have a singing bowl in our house collection, which you can check it out. So I do that every day, not just on Eclipse. So it's the same way I clean the house. I clean the energy every day. So make sure you clean the energy of the house. Now, you have a conversation. Ooh, someone is going to talk to you now because there's a page of Pentacles with a Ten of Pentacles, right? So this is a conversation. Mm -hmm. Something fated. The Wheel of Fortune is uh, circling back. The Wheel of Fortune is someone who's expressing to you, okay, with the Ace of Swords, the truth. So if they have asked for time, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancerian, Gemini. I did the Aqua reading and it's somewhat similar where someone is ready to speak. Let's see how this is going to manifest. Oh, it will manifest for sure. It's right here. Well, whatever will manifest, meaning we'll see. Because it's here now. In the coming days. Oof. Oof. Okay. Well, to find out more, link in the comments in the description box below for the extended reading. Make sure to check out, of course, your um, wonderful Zodiac Piao bracelet while it's still available. I will see you guys again.